there, gamers! I'm the Orange Ranger, and welcome to another episode of Star Trek Resurgence right here on Orange Ranger Plays. Last time, and it has been a hot minute, uh, Captain Solano was exposed as being taken over by the Takan and bioformed into one of them, and so Jara Rydek took command of the Resolute, and then they, on the um, Elidian ship, uh, the Starfleet crew, Carter, Diaz, and uh, Nili Edsilar, along with their Elidian general helper, whose name I forget because it's been a hot minute, um, managed to get the main crew antagonizing things off of that ship by depressurizing the cargo bay. And also then... Jara and most of the command crew and Portal 6-3 beam down to an ice world that the other antagonistic Hotari general, whose name I forget, <laughs> beam down to, which Portal 6-3 said was a, a big stock of Takan weaponry. And he wants to check out what's there for himself, so he headed there. You might notice that instead of starting in the game, we are on the title screen, and I know this is a boring screen to look at, but there's something I do want to talk about quickly, and you know what? If you don't care about the mechanics of this channel and you just want to see what's going on with the Starfleet crew, skip to this time code. Okay, if you're still listening, you care about me as a gamer and a content creator and you want to know what's going on. I recently tweeted about this on both Orange Ranger Plays and Orange Ranger videos, but I wanted to address it quickly in videos here. I was using a system to create videos for these channels where I was doing these blocks of content back and forth. I would do three or four episodes of Resurgence, three or four episodes of Dragon Knight back and forth, etc., etc., I recently came to the conclusion that that system is not working for me. Um, even if it went perfectly, uh, it would mean weeks, if not months, between content on a channel, which is not a way for a channel to grow. You all listening to my voice here, you know, would have to wait weeks, if not months, for new episodes of Resurgence. And that, you know, you go elsewhere, and I totally understand that. Um, and also, I make... I make no real secret of saying this, although I don't know if I've mentioned it so much here. I've mentioned it a number of times over on Orange Ranger videos. Um, I deal with a number of mental illnesses, anxiety being one of the chief among them, and having that block of episodes that I wanted to all get done before going over to something else got to me a little bit, and it would make me not want to work on anything. So we are trying out a brand new system as of this video and the preceding Common Rider Dragon Knight episode review, episode 13, Thrill of the Hunt, where instead of working on big blocks of content and going back and forth, I'm going to create one video per channel at a time. Sort of, because I'm also adding another uh, video series that has gone neglected for a long time that I've wanted to do uh, into the mix, and those are my unmorphed vlogs, my, you know, when I go on trips and things and etc. The last one that got posted to Orange Ranger videos is right in the middle of my trip to Orlando for my friend's bachelor weekend, and um, he's since been married for a good bit, so <laughs> those are pretty behind. And there's also what I'm actually working on right now is uh, my recent trip with my squad of very good friends to Universal in Orlando, so I'm working on those blogs right now. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to have a Common Rider Dragon Knight review, we're going to have an unmorphed vlog, although I'm back and forth on whether I'm going to post those for now, I kind of want to get them all done just so um, when I tell my friends that they're coming out, they know they're all scheduled, they're all posted, etc, etc. Uh, and then an episode of Star Trek Resurgence, and we just go back and forth. I was thinking as I was writing those tweets, um, I almost decided to go Kamen Rider Dragon Knight Star Trek Resurgence vlog, because then it's like uh, Orange Ranger videos, Orange Ranger plays, Orange Ranger videos. But even if I do that, one, two, three, you still have three, one, and then two, if you know what I mean. So it's still Orange Ranger videos, Orange Ranger videos, Orange Ranger plays, and there's no way to arrange that. So I just have to get through the two to make sure I'm getting episodes of Resurgence out. 
Um, it's also less daunting in terms of production because, like, for example, right now, I'm recording this episode of Star Trek Resurgence, but instead of playing for, like, three hours, this is going to be the only episode that I record. I'm going to record for about an hour um, and then take it right into editing and just knock it out and get it done. So content should be coming out faster. Uh, vlogs are limited. I'm not traveling a lot right now, so it's not like vlogs are piling up. There is a certain amount that need to get done. Uh, when those get done, I think I'm going to work on other backlog content on Orange Ranger videos. Um, it's not like I'm going to add a second Let's Play series or something, but I have my games that I want to play for Let's Plays, even after Resurgence ends. We're going to obviously keep going. So, um, yeah, there'll be content coming out, and hopefully this will get things coming out a lot smoother and a lot faster. But... We have a game to play, so we're going to hop right in here. We are at the Arsenal of Eternity. Funny enough, I think that uh, that thumbnail there is a bit of a spoiler, because we had just beamed down to the snow, so I don't know what that is. Uh, but let's hop on in. The, continue. The Arsenal of Eternity. By the way, while it's loading, I'll talk about a little weird thing. I noticed that um, when I was setting up for recording that I didn't seem to be getting any audio levels. And what I ended up realizing in OBS is that I needed to set up an audio capture source as well as a video capture source. That sounds obvious, but I've never had to do that before. The Arsenal of Eternity. Any sign of Sidron? Not that I can see. <laughs> Portal, you sassy bitch. High alert, everyone. The enemy could be anywhere. Follow my lead. So something I'm kind of spotting right off the bat, I don't know... <laughs> Fine, Sidron. Um... I don't know if, uh... It's just walking through the snow. They seem to be walking a little slower. Oh, well, thank you. That's nice. <laughs> Westbrook saying he's going to protect me. Because I'm the captain now. Okay. I uh, was just seeing if there was anything to see. Oh, yeah. We can hold L2 to see if there's anything we need. To, we can scan. And there's not. So we're going to go this way. Uh, it's, it just seemed... Now she's walking a little faster. It seemed like gravity was a little bit off. That we were walking a little slow. Right, head on down this way. It's like ice things. Phaser should make quick work. Phaser! Shoot it! Nope, melt all the way down. Bye! Pew pew! Pew pew! <laughs> This is one of the things my gamer instincts tell me, like, shoot all of the ice. Don't just shoot some of the ice. Gonna have to crouch. There we go. Press in the right stick. Oh, phaser. Weirdly melting ice, very video gamey. Just kind of deleting it from the... Ooh. What are these? Hmm. Like little techno flowers. I wonder if they're ice generators that were making the ice to block this. Ooh, that one took three shots. Oop. Oh, well, and it was gone. <laughs> I thought it was going to take four shots. Okay. Hi, the back of her neck. That was not me doing that. That was just the camera. Cutscene. Is this another Takan vault? <laughs> it looks like something. Portal? I don't see a way in. The vault in the mines was already open. There must be some it's way to activate it. Visor. 
Uh, let's look for a hidden mechanism. Look around. There must be some sort of hidden mechanism to trigger. I don't see anything. Are you done? Then open it, schmuck. Why ain't you did that already? An interesting hidden mechanism. choice to add. Oh, shut Better up. Better to keep it simple. Sometimes the answer is staring you right in the face. Thank you. Thank you. Definitely easier this way. Uh, did we scan the air to see that we could break the. Okay, just pull them helmets off. That's fine. Still not used to her visor. I do like her hair up like that, though. And that's an interesting little detail. They have their hair up because they're in helmets. Oh, the door closing behind us. I'm sure that's no problem. I haven't mentioned it before, and it's a very minor detail, but when the game pops up things like that fine Sidron, that sounds weirdly like a crunch. Like, crunch! Okay. Anything we can scan around here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. You see how I'm going back and forth? There's like, I don't know if I'd call it tearing, but there's a blur on her with the camera. Sorry if that's causing any motion sickness, just like, I don't know. Again, I've hinted when this game is over, there's gonna be, there's gonna be like pros and cons. And it's basically gonna come down to the quality of the story versus the quality of the game. Spread out. Let's see what we can find. And stay on high alert. We don't know where the Takan that beamed down here... You mean Sidron? <laughs> phaser. <laughs> Westbrook be like, I ain't need no phaser. Portal, what you got for me? You will need my help, Commander. How so? Traversal here. Trivial for a Tacon, but only a Tacon. When you come across a device you cannot use, merely call my name. Will do. Thank you. <laughs> a little sarcastic. Thanks. Now we've got scanny things. Okay, portals over there. That's a, that's a good looking portal over there. Actually, I'm going to talk about portal really quick. Um. I'm gonna try to see if I can get the camera on. Like, uh, there we go. That's pretty good. Um, I think I mentioned that Portal doesn't really look like he did on the show, and I mean that kind of makes sense because I believe the episode the Portal Six Three was in was um, in the '80s because um, Star Trek: The Next Generation started in the late '80s, and it's a, I believe, a first season episode. So, um, you know, that actor or whatever. But just to lay it out here officially for you all, on the TNG episode, The Last Outpost, which in fact air, first aired on October 19th, 1987, um, Portal 6-3 was played by Daryl Henriques. And it's a picture of him. Right there. Uh, he was also Ambassador Nanclus in one of the movies. Um, Henry uh, was in Citizen with Whoopi Goldberg. Uh, I'm just kind of quickly looking through. He was in Beverly Hills Cop 2. Uh, no Way Out. In the 90s, Henry was in The Rocketeer. Uh, is in Jumanji, you know, a classic character actor kind of a thing. Uh, Henrik stopped acting in the 2000s. His only film in the 2000s was Just Visiting, uh, in 2001 with Danny Goldring, Kelsey Grammer, and Malcolm McDowell. Uh, Kelsey Grammer and Malcolm McDowell also Star Trek alums in their own fashions. Um, in... Star Trek Resurgence, Portal 6-3, is voiced by Mark Rolston, 
who is in the Shawshank Redemption and Aliens and Rush Hour. Kind of a similar actor. Um, he's Captain Hale in Ahsoka, Norman Osborn in Spider-Man 2, uh, Percy in Assassin's Fury. Um, you know, just another actor that's done a lot of also kind of character work. And I feel like looking at him, they they kind of modeled this version of Portal to be something kind of in between the appearance of the character in the episode at the time and Rolston now. So, he, like, and you could just say time's passed. He's aged and he looks different. I don't know. I just wanted to address it anyway. This is the episode where I stand around and talk a lot. Uh, what's over here? I think that's where we came in. Yeah, because this looks a lot. Uh, Westbrook's over there staring at a tricorder, maybe? Let's look. Westbrook, what you doing? I can't talk to him. Yeah, he's very intently scanning that wall. All right. I actually do want to go talk to Portal. He's like, hey, what's up? Let's talk. Let's have a chit chat. Let's have a chatter at chat chat chatter man do chatter zoo. Oi. Uh, this one. Do you know what this place was used for? It feels familiar, but I'm not certain. The Empire was vast. Much was built after I became a portal. However, Takan would not build such a place without something precious to protect. Whatever that is, we have to find it before Galvin does. I thought Sidron was the one that was down here. Look at the hole! What's hole? Consider space ocean. I can't even say it. Consider space ocean. Let's consider it. Portal? What is that void down there? Space folding upon itself. A fairly simple concept. Oh. For a Takan, perhaps? I advise against falling in. I'm pretty sure it would literally be impossible. <laughs> I like how she stepped back a little bit, though. Like, eh. Like, is that lemon jello? Can I go eat it? Okay, really quick, just to make sure. Holding L2, okay, doesn't... Wait, so we... We... Hang on now. Did we come from... Oh, and there's... Why are you just standing back here? Hello? 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 Okay, see you later. I don't know why she's just down there. You figure she'd be up here looking at all of this stuff with her visor, but... Hey. Um, so that's where we came in. So actually, over here is... Not, I mean, let's... This is... We're close to this button. Let's just... Examine the device. Hmm. This pattern resembles the transporter device Petty Officer Maris used to escape the Resident. Portal 6-3? You wish to make use of this device? It's a transporter of some kind? It allows Tacon to move through space instantly a short distance. Very convenient. I will Sounds activate like a little the jump system pad. for you. Interesting. Where does it go? I'm not sure. The markings here must be from after my time. Well, only one way to find out. Yes. By standing on that circle. We're definitely going to stand on that circle. What's over here? Because I came to realize this is not where we came in, so... There's stuff to investigate over here. What? I should look elsewhere. Excuse! 
Excuse me. Game design. Game theory time. What this is is design. The intent of design overwhelming game design. Or uh, I'm not wording this well. What this is is the idea of like aesthetic overcoming game design. That they were like, well, it, c it shouldn't just be this one room. There should be another little hallway. I mean, where are the bathrooms or whatever, right? But like, but like, mm <laughs> I'm sorry. Just, it's frustrating. to. Like, and this isn't the first time this game has pulled this to be like, no, I should go somewhere else. Then why is this here? I don't think it would be a big deal if you had that hallway sealed off. And it was just very clear that I needed to go this way. I know I've said sometimes this game is kind of walking down a hallway to the next objective, but but having me turn around immediately after walking in that hallway and going, oh, it's not over here. I should go somewhere else. That mm, That's not good game design. Just bad fucking design. It's bad design in any game. All right, step on the doodly-doo and go over to place. Welcome to another rip roaring edition of Walk from Thing to Thing. I was just gonna say it would be interesting if there was more than one and I had to figure out how to get where I'm going. Okay, so from, the, you know, the first two are obvious. Let's go right. Let's keep going right. We're just gonna go right until we have a reason not to. Okay. Only one other choice here. Hey, we did it! Hi, everybody. Guess you saw and realized to follow me. Use your tricorder to click. It's tricorder time. Did Portal come along? Okay, Portal came along. Is, um, friggin' what's her name? Yeah! She, you can see her. She's way back there. Why is, what, is she guarding the door? What is she doing back there? All right, tricorder. Uh, looks like I can scan this. Out of range. I assure you it's not. Soil. Just... Soil. It's not from this planet. Nor any planet in the Federation database. Federation is supposed to be capitalized subtitles. <sighs> Alien soil. Soil from a planet not recorded in the Federation data database. Requires further investigation. To con console, extremely high particle density, impassable with current Starfleet technology. So it's not only a console, it's also a force field. To con console contains vast amounts of, of Taconian data. Contents unable to be translated. Same thing. That's why I was hesitant to scan that. I really already had. There's this thing, but it's acting like it doesn't want me to scan that.
Yep, see the consoles there are solid. Can I use the console? Can I push buttons? Nope. Oh. I can investigate the soil without. I guess when it said requires further investigation, this is what it meant. Why is this hoop? This is soil from the homeworld. Our capital system. How do you know that? This isn't an arsenal. It's a temple of the ancients. Sacred ground to the Takon. I took my oath as a guardian of the Empire in a place just like... Is that why it seemed familiar? <sighs> Sometimes there's even like tearing between scene transitions. You cannot imagine the look of pride in my parents' eyes as they said goodbye forever. Sorry. This is the first I've seen of anything new from the Takon Empire in a very long time. I'm sure you're familiar with the feeling, that sense of loss. I thought I was ready for it, but it cuts to the core of your being, even with your defenses up. I totally understand. I totally understand that feeling. It's unavoidable and inescapable, no matter what you do. Yes, it's that distant but familiar feeling that's forever just out of reach. But her world still exists. Can you use this to find out more about what Galvin is after? The information's encrypted. Discern that it's a warship. No. It's the Aphelion. Yep. Perhaps the most powerful Taconian ship ever built. Oh, that's not good. I can't access the full file, but looking through the ship's schematics, it appears to be equipped with some sort of experimental, highly advanced transporter technology. Transporter technology? For what? Captain, you better come see this. Is that why she stayed behind? Okay, we're in the floor. Descend. We did. Through the floor. What? Descend. Oh, thanks. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Going down. Apparently we didn't, didn't need to bother with those transporters because they were just stairs. We gotta figure out why you just stayed here. Oh, look, stick! There are more up ahead. From the looks of it, I'd say someone left it. Yeah! Enough. Probably right around the time we showed up. Interesting. The sticks contain the the spirits for there's the thumbnail, by the way. The uh the spirits of ancient Taconians. So Oh, it's a huge archive of them. Oh, there's so many. I've seen these before. In the other vault. And if all of those... Oh my this, goodness! Then there must be... Hundreds of millions. If okay, not billions, that might be exaggerating slightly. All the remains of the Dakon civilization. They were a distinct person, encapsulated in crystalline form, preserved for all eternity. They're bringing back the Empire. You thought this was an arsenal, and in a way you're right. This is how they rebuild the Takan Empire. 
and bioform billions of innocent people. That seems to be the case. What you have to understand is, these life forms were preserved for the benefit of the Takan civilization. Yeah, of course. As a means of safeguarding the health and well-being of any Takan, should they fall prey to illness oh, or Oh, injury, oh, okay, yeah, they there are a whole bunch. to be used for this purpose. There you are wrong. Oh, good, Sidron. This was always their purpose. Why are you... To restore the glory that was lost. Hang on. Congratulations on your first victory in battle, Captain Rydek. You killed a great many of my compatriots, some that I've known for millennia. Are you proud of how much death you've caused? Each Takan life is precious, irreplaceable. Since had to save my crew or you're to blame. Lost with each one you murdered. I had to save my crew. I was protecting my crew. It's regrettable to take any life. But when someone threatens galactic civilization, force is the correct response. And I suppose it worked. For now. Thankfully, I don't have to convince you of anything. We'll all be on the same side soon enough. You can't just bioform whoever you want, not without a fight. Uh, that subtitle didn't that's even come it. close there to matching what she said. In fact, most won't even know what's happened. One minute you're standing there as you. The next you're standing here as one of us. He's talking about mass transformation. That's oh my what the goodness. Aphelion was built for. The transporter. It'll reconstitute your DNA and bioform you into a Takan in the blink of an eye. This is what they'll use as ammunition. A in gun a manner of speaking. That uses these yes. Takan spirits as bullets. Of course, that's the simple version. But the end result will be the same. The hell you will! I realize you're here to gloat. And you seem pretty confident, but... I'm not gonna let that happen. It already is happening. The Aphelion is on its way here as we speak. Now it's only a matter of time. You can't delay that which is inevitable. Which makes your next decision fairly simple, brother. You are, after all, a portal. I am. Your sole purpose is to serve as a guardian of the Takan Empire. But you stand here surrounded not by your fellow Takan, but by members of the Federation. By people who deny our fundamental right to exist. You swore an oath to protect the Empire. And I can only assume that's why you're here. There is only one true Takan here, and that's Portal. You're a scion, a disgrace to the memory of the Takan, brought back through unnatural means. I only tolerate your presence so long as you continue to amuse me. Bring it, dude! Which side are you on? Captain Rydak, long-range sensors suggest a massive spacecraft approaching in the distance. Oh, crap. The time has come. I hope we speak again, brother. Okay, now let's try to shoot him. I didn't feel like it was gonna work, but... Estimated time to contact, six minutes and counting. We can't stay here. We have to get back to the ship. And we have to preserve these souls. We must take them back to your ship. Those crystals are ammunition to be used against us. We have to destroy them. Bombard the no. site from orbit. I'll decide once we're safely aboard the Resolute. 
afford a transport. Why do you make me press a button when there's no choice to be made in it? Go the suits. You have to hear me out, Captain. I lost my eyes because oh, of you. Oh, shut up! I committed that no for you. But you, if you are out of those line. Things on board. I'll have no choice but to resign. If they're taken to the arena, they will be forced into new bodies, brought back to life in okay, a way they never asked for. They're not living beings, but they're still dangerous. And if you don't make decisions to protect us, we're going to end up like you Solano. You are out of line, Lieutenant. You, me, the entire crew. We're all next. That is way out of line. Two minutes and counting. It's headed straight toward the vault. The Aphelion is coming into view now, Captain. Stop! Whoo! <laughs> oh, why is it coming out of... What the heck? It's very big. And very visually generic. Second vault in less than a minute. Maybe she's been bioformed. I would remind you, those life forms are to come. Not science, to come. They're not your enemy. Right or wrong, history will judge you for this cool. moment. You are out of line. Let's save some lives. Get him up here. Transport the storage crystals aboard the Resolute. Did I hear that right? That's an order. We're taking them away from the Scions. We're taking away their ammunition. What is wrong with this? The storage crystals are on board in our cargo bay. They'll come after us. Thank you. I won't forget this. I hope you realize what you've yep. done. Need another captain who's gonna risk our lives just to feed their Stand ego. Stand down, this Lieutenant! And this crew come first. Lieutenant. She has to hear it. Stand down, Lieutenant Pedrosian. It's done. Yes, Captain. To think. I used to look up to you. The Aphelion is targeting us, approaching rapidly. They hit us with that bioforming ray, and it's over. Maximum warp, get us out of here. Where, Captain? Anywhere but here. Now! Go! Now, Takan ships can apparently travel much faster than Warp 9, but... Yeah, I'm really not getting the objection. Saying that bringing the, the crystals on board is putting people in danger. The crystals are inert on their own. And homecoming. And we're taking them away from the Scions attempting to use them. Oh yeah, Carter Diaz! And Nilly Edselar, and, uh, what's-his-face? They're all passed out from oxygen deprivation. Yay! Huh? Hey, Schmuck, you wanna get out of the box, too? See, every time we see him, that scar is healing up more and more.
You did what had to be done with the Tasker. I know well, you held out hope, there. but it's what she would have wanted. The Tasker can rest now. Even if I wavered in the moment. It wasn't a question of time. It was about freeing a Tasker. You'll see her again. If you believe, I'm sure you'll see her again. Also, he's got a gray I do. mustache and goatee now. And I shall. Surprises here. <laughs> but your shoulders separated. If you come with me to sick bay, we can get you fixed up in no time. Uh, thank you. I'll find you afterwards. You two, check in at your stations. This thing isn't over yet. Yeah, <laughs> back to work. Okay, bye. Really, really, really? This is it? Okay. Uh, let's see. He wants to talk to me. Uh, she wants to talk to me. I can go back and look at the box. Why is there another? All right. She was a good little escape pod. Not that I want another ride like that anytime soon. What are they? What is? What is he doing to it? Are they fix. All right. You know. Life is full of questions. I feel I was like, yeah, the uh, the back part of of uh, the shuttle bay is going to be completely blocked off. Okay, that's fine. I ain't even worried about it. Okay, what 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 are you doing? Okay, you are staring intently. Do you still need a hyper spanner? You're not the same one, but you're really making us proud out there, Diaz. The lower decks don't get a lot of glory. Well, I'm just getting started. Ooh, just getting started. Carter be like, hey, my girlfriend's at Takan now, so uh, you want to get some dinner? All right. Hi. Tell me, did any crew from the Zelti survive? Well. Since the Lydian ships have no escape pods, I think it was just us. I see. I thought so. Why'd you ask? I had a partner on board. After this mission, she and I were. Yay, made... space aliens! Yay! Doesn't matter. All that matters now is making the Takan pay for You'll what they've done. We'll get together on the. We'll stop them. Uh, respite fields or whatever promised. it was. Diaz. Yeah? Did you see our people over there? Yep. Miranda? Kapoor? Hauser? We saw Miranda and Kapoor, but they're bioform. And as far as I know, there's no way to undo it. That means they're not our friends anymore. They they attack us? The game like we'll have to stop them. Jeez. No matter what it takes. We don't need that subtitle, though. Yeah. I, I guess we have to be ready for that. <laughs> okay, moving on. Sweeping back over the room, holding L2. All right, back to our stations. Nelly's like, I hate getting... I can't believe it, but I'm actually looking forward to seeing Chobok. Not that I'd expect this kind of welcome from him, but I can just imagine the look on his face. He's got to be impressed. Oh, come on, he's got to give us some credit for all we've done. We'll see. Then again, if he doesn't, that's just Chovak being Chovak. I can't believe it! You evaded the Takan, ejected their warp cores, and lived to talk about it! That's us! That about sums it up. They're gonna be teaching this at the Academy for years oh, to come. Oh, that's that guy! Callaway! I mean it! Everybody's gonna learn how you pulled it off! Can't teach that. Well, what we did, you can't just teach that. <laughs> Maybe not, but I'm sure they'll try. I heard about Bell. Is Miranda? Bioformed. 
As far as we know, she's still out there. Well, I know Captain Rydek will do her best to Captain get her back. Captain Rydek? Rydek? What about Captain Solano? He was turned into a Takan. Rydek had to take over. I she's a hell of an officer, that. but none of us have been up against anything like this. No one has. <laughs> Never a dull moment, years. huh? I guess there's never a dull moment around here, huh? You telling me it's not always like this? Not if we can help it. Mm. Mm. Talk to you later. It is agreeable to see you again. Is that so? It was by no means a certainty that you would return to duty here. No, it was not. But it was my sincere hope you would. It is agreeable to see you as well, sir. What is going on with my I nose? Concur. You should know your absence has left engineering terribly short-handed. During your sojourn, this department has fallen unacceptably behind schedule. On both regular and irregular duties. There's been a whole lot of irregularity going around. I am stating facts, not looking for excuses. I gotta admit, it's a little flattering that this place went to hell so fast without me. So, uh, I'll take that as a compliment. I believe factors other than your absence were also to blame. Uh-oh. <laughs> Normally, I would assign you to one of the many pressing repair tasks. But, given your experience on board the Zeldi, I have suggested you join the senior staff briefing as we determine our next Ooh. course of action. You can commence your maintenance shift afterwards. <laughs> You'll be getting right back to work. Don't worry. <laughs> but, ooh. And she's getting her uh, grape Kool-Aid infusion. Oh, she's doing it. I tended to an Illidian earlier. Major Sarlet Arminta. Yep. Ah, uh, yes. I met him at the negotiations. I never would have imagined I'd be here on the same ship, working together with our oppressors. But now that I am, I can imagine a future where the Hotari and Elidians are See, no longer enemies. See, what the Federation does, y'all. I always hoped for peace, but it seems so far away. There's still a lot of bad blood. I'll help you. Maybe too much. Well, if there's any way I can help, You know, let we me bring know. the idea of peace. I'll take you up on that. It's good to have the support of a Starfleet captain, I'm sure. Get another pip on her collar? Oh, it's coming along nicely. Thank you, Tylus. I'll take it from here. What's coming along nicely? <laughs> She's being infused. We're almost done. I have to brief Ambassador Spock in a few minutes. We're almost done. Ambassador dumb. Spock can wait. You have some fences to mend. Personally, I'm against the needless destruction of innocent life forms, so I'm glad you transported the Taconian crystals onto the ship. But Lieutenant Bedrosian obviously feels Lieutenant Bedrosian was out of line, and she can get right the now, fuck you over herself. Support of your bridge crew. Being an effective leader requires trust, but an issue as divisive as this can create. Discord. I still want opposing viewpoints. I still need and value contrary opinions. I don't want everyone agreeing with me when they feel otherwise. Oh, you'll know when Lieutenant Bedrosian doesn't agree with something. She's not shy about making her opinion known. It's been a chaotic last few days for everyone. You need to name a new first officer in preparation for what's coming. <sighs> you'll have to work to regain Lieutenant Bedrosian's trust. But if she's removed from consideration, it comes down to Westbrook or Ooh. Ermot. Obviously, there who are, are you to say who I'm considering to be first officer? Decision I'll promote yours. friggin' Carter Diaz. Commander Westbrook has seniority and was hoping to be Captain Solano's first officer. Ermot has the knowledge and experience that makes him more than qualified. I wish it could be Bedrosian. You really couldn't go wrong with either of them. To be honest, Lieutenant Bedrosian feels like the perfect fit for the position. I would otherwise agree. But given what happened... That'll take some work. Like on me your and Bedrosian were closest, and I picked her to help me and support the captain and everything. And all of a sudden, she got really friggin' racist about Thank to you, con spirits being on the ship. Always nice to have a captive audience. 
really should. I really do want her to be my first be. officer. It'll piss off Westbrook, but ask me if I care. They're commanders already. They want to be first officers so bad they can go to another ship. Hi! Captain. I'll meet you inside. I'm here to officially tender my resignation from the crew of the USS Resolute. I cannot in good conscience continue to serve aboard this ship. Not while the interests of the enemy take precedent over the safety of the crew. We need your help. Lieutenant, we both know how much we need your help and expertise for the coming conflict. I have no one to replace you. I understand, Captain. And I apologize. But my heart is not in it any longer. And to stay would be a disservice to us both. My door is always open if you change your mind. I appreciate that. We'll have Ambassador Spock be a subspace to that. Thank you, Mr. Armand. I'll notify Lieutenant Bedrosian we're about Don't to begin. Father. That won't be necessary. Petty officers Diaz and Edsalar have first-hand experience with our I thought you said you already asked I thought it to bring them advantageous along. for them to join this briefing. I understand this is unusual, but I trust you have no objections? Talk about moving up in the world. Not that I'm surprised in the least. I want them here. Excellent idea, Mr. Chovak. They deserve to be here. I'm glad it includes in Nilly, too. What Diaz and Edsalar accomplished aboard the Zeldi is nothing short of remarkable. You look incredibly They're plastic both to be right commended, now. not only for surviving against incredible odds, but for helping our efforts against these Scions. You know, Carter deserves most Shut up, Nelly. None of us would have made it without his help. We'd all be bioformed by this point. Well, I could say the same thing about Edsalar here. She deserves as much of the credit as I do. It's like a mutual admiration society. <laughs> yeah, so let's just get together and forget Ambassador about Miranda. Spock is ready for you. Pretty sure a couple of those people through. just popped in on the chair. Captain Rindick, your recent change in station certainly warrants mention, and I trust you to faithfully execute your expanded duties. Right now, we must keep our attention on the clear and present danger that lies ahead, the Takan and their warship. The closest populations are the Hotari and Elidian systems, and they are likely the first targets for mass bioforming. Do they have any... After that, lies Federation space. I have advised Starfleet that Command to send an impromptu battle group to intercept and assist you, but that will take time. You are our first line of defense. Where's the Enterprise? With our shield algorithms compromised, we are at a great disadvantage. Of course. You know that as well as I do. We'll take the help. I'm glad to hear the battle group is en route, Ambassador. With what we're up against, we're gonna need all the help we can get. And you will have it. Good. Remember, I was gonna say. Our strength is drawn from our ability to work together towards a common goal. Have we made any progress in finding a way to defend ourselves from the Aphelion's bioforming weapon? Currently, our shields will not protect us, but I am compiling all of the information the away team gathered on the Zeldi and cross-referencing it against our own as well as Portal 6-3's methods. The away team is sitting right here. They survived without getting bioformed, so we know it's possible. So, what's the secret? How do we defend ourselves? I don't ourselves? know. Don't get caught. Yeah. Can exploit? Something we can do to avoid getting bioformed. Well, simple as it sounds, the best thing to do is to not get caught, whether it's one-on-one -on -one or the whole ship. We avoided the Takan as much as we could. But we saw the bioforming, and there's not much you can do. I found something that might help. It's too soon to say for sure, but we've had some promising indications that Deridium can delay the bioforming Of process. course it can. Deridium? It's not a cure. It's not going to bring anyone back we've already lost. But Deridium is a cell stabilizer, so it has the potential to slow down the onset of physical and mental changes, if not entirely prevent them. And it might be the only ship in the fleet with this much Deridium on hand. In fact, a lot of ships wouldn't have any. I'll give it up. 
I'll forego the rest of my treatments, if it means the crew will be safe. Captain, you'd die. That's an honorable intention. But it's not of that Of course safe. it isn't. It requires a much larger dose to be effective. We don't have enough duridium on board to protect the whole crew. We barely have enough to protect everyone in this room. Sounds like it won't do us and much so good we're screwed. The use case I'd suggest is that it could buy a little time for an the officer or a small group to complete a task or mission. But it has to be taken at the moment of exposure to the bioforming Why? mechanism. Why? Prepare a delivery method for this remedy. That raises the question. What is the mission? I'm getting really tired. Assuming the Aphelion uses shields of some kind, I don't expect it will be easy to bypass their defenses. We may not be able to block the Aphelion's attack either. But if they do strike, we know their weapon uses transporter technology. We might be able to backtrack their signal path. Like we did to evacuate Captain Rydek from Tau. Exactly. We could send an away team onto the Aphelion. So we could destroy it from the inside. I'm not exactly sure how, but that's the idea. So it's like jujitsu. <laughs> so it's like jujitsu judo. Them. That's the idea. Aye, aye. We'll keep thinking on it. I'd rather not have to take a direct hit to punch back. There might be some other way we can turn their it's strength like... into a weakness. We'll need to prepare a boarding party. It's it like they just loaded the first draft. Petty of the officers script Ed Salar and Diaz are the logical into, choices to lead you know, any away mission to the Aphelion. And didn't account for They have already crippled recording. one enemy ship. If anyone can do so again, it is them. This isn't like the engineering mission that took you to the Zeldi. Do you really have some special insights that a tactical team wouldn't? Doesn't the fact that we're here speak for itself? Just surviving won't be enough this time. Sabotage is our specialty. Sabotage is kind of becoming our specialty. We'll find a way to get the job done. Well, he certainly has the swagger for it. If this is, is the necessary the course of action, Carter? I support mm. it. With the help of Portal, he should be part of the away team. You know, we never got an answer on. I will on compile all Portal's the latest oil, data on the tricorders. He's just said in case. That he's against them, but in the he meantime, never that I want question. you working on ways we can combat the Tacon Tech. Shields, weapons, anything we can use. Yes, Captain. Anything else, Ambassador? I know this matter is in capable hands. Hold the line as best you can. Help is on Help the way. Is on the way! Thank you. I have faith in all of you. I have faith in all of you to meet this moment with the urgency it requires. I expect all of us to give it everything we've got. Everybody likes that. Thank you, Petty Officers Diaz and Edsilar. You're dismissed. Get out. Back to work. While we have a quorum of senior staff, there is a procedure. Oh god, you're asking about the first of. officer thing. The resolute command codes must be transferred to Captain Rydek for control of the ship. Oh. Of course. Computer, transfer all command codes to Captain Jara Rydek. Voice authorization, Ermot, Echo 4 Lima. Voice authorization, Duval, Beta 2, Yankee. Voice authorization, Westbrook, Alpha 7 Tango. Awaiting your authorization, Captain. I get to pick my code. Voice authorization, Rydek. Bravo, three, whiskey. Captain's codes transfer. The updated command structure is incomplete. Oh, God. Please designate a new first officer. I want it to be Bedrosian. Who is the new first officer. <sighs> Please designate a new first officer. <laughs> I have to go with the senior experience, and especially on this mission, science is very important. And Westbrook is somebody who hasn't been afraid to uh, 
Please designate a new first off officer. Again? sit there for a second it goes back to center uh he'll be willing to tell me off no fucking kidding it is an honor and a pleasure to name commander westbrook as my new first officer thank you captain you made the right don't choice. say that asshole congratulations commander it's long overdue i know we've had our differences but i can't tell you how much i appreciate this you, you want to say computer Commander Westbrook is the new first officer of you the USS Resident. You want to say Resident. something to Irma? Voice authorization. Voice authorization Westbrook. Alpha 7 Tango. Authorization is now complete. Now if you'll excuse me. Will you talk to Irma about... Mm. Nicely done. I think that was well. Captain, could I have a word with you? Give me a minute. Look, I respect your decision, Captain. Commander Westbrook has seniority, and I can understand why you might have felt pressure. It's not pressure. But what I can't understand is why you would choose someone so clearly unsuited for the position. It's the very reason why Captain Solano chose you over him. Because he knew Westbrook, his first officer, would be disastrous. I trust his experience. I know you're disappointed, but I trust his experience. And I need to rely on him now more than ever. But that's just it. We can't afford to make any mistakes. And that's my concern with Commander Westbrook. Maybe I've had it wrong this oh, whole time. Why is everybody being- I thought we've had an excellent working relationship almost from the moment you first arrived. I'm still relying on you. Of course, I was insulted when you didn't trust me with the information about Captain Solano being compromised, but I've always supported you, which is certainly that's more exactly than you can say my about point. Westbrook. I was always against you, especially with regard get to over Captain it. Solano. I want to say get over it so I bad. counts for nothing with you. I still need your support. Look, I'll be honest. I can't do this without your help. You're one of the best officers we've got, and I need you by my side. Otherwise, we don't have a chance against Galvin. It's as simple as that. And I'll be there when you Thank need me. Thank you. Just like I always have. This arc of the story has some really questionable behavior by the officers. Irma still didn't like that though. What what was I supposed to say? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Why were the engines flashing? I don't understand. Give me get everything she's got. It doesn't make a difference. Something is actively slowing us down. Keep trying. What's the situation in engineering? I can't raise them. The internal comms are down. It's the ionic interference. It's spiking again. If we reinitialize the central communications trunk, it should compensate. If I may, Captain. Communications are critical to ship operations. I should go take care of this. Go. Oh, he's gonna die. I was hoping we could buy enough time until Starfleet could send more ships. But it looks like we might have to face off against the Aphelion sooner than we might want. If it's just us, I don't like our chances. We need to outwit them. We can't fight them on their terms. We have to be clever. That's not good. Oh, that's a big ship. We're being hailed by the Aphelion. Galvin demands to be heard. On screen. You thought you could run. That I would let you escape so easily after taking what's mine? How pathetic and predictable. At least you can take solace knowing you'll be a far braver to calm than you were as a cowardly Kobliad. 
Is it any wonder your people perished? If your every instinct is to run from a fight. You underestimate the lengths I'm willing to go to ensure you don't succeed. Sadly, this is as far as you'll get. We both know I hold your fate in the palm of my hand. That I could crush you in an instant if I so Then do you. it already! You like to talk. And as much as I'd like to, <laughs> you have another purpose to serve. Sure I do. As one of us. Oh, the bioforming ray. That's probably not good. Red alert! Pandor, get us out of here! Full impulse? I'm telling you, we're about to lose Armand. They are focusing too much on him being at, down there. Hey, Bajor. Evasive maneuvers. Fly down a little bit. Okay. Uh oh. It clipped us. Oh, we've got a bunch of Takans on board, including Ermot. Hit the engineering section. No systems or structural damage, though. Yep, the eyes. They were targeting the crew, not the ship. Captain, we have to respond. What do you mean, respond? Hit him in the mouth. <laughs> what photon torpedoes. Fire photon torpedoes. Target the source of the beam. The Aphelion remains undamaged by the photon torpedoes. Fire Captain. phasers. And its shields are fully intact. It's too powerful to take head on. Damage report from the lower decks. I still can't raise them, Captain. Could be that the system's down. Could be the, the system's down. Well, that was the Dakar wow. bioforming ray. And there's no one left down there to respond. The Dakar may already be on this ship. No way of knowing how bad it is yet. Get those comms back. Where's Ermont with the internal comms? Comms appear to be coming back online. System reboot in progress. I'll keep trying to reach him. Good. We, we are at the point, by the way, where I am waiting for the opportunity to Here stop. Why do we have new tricorders? Okay, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Um, that is going to do it for another episode of Star Trek Resurgence here on Orange Ranger Plays. Thank you so much, as always, for watching. As I said at the beginning of this, um, this is going to be the one episode that I record today. I'm going to put this straight into editing and get this out as soon as possible. And then we'll be rotating between the channels with single videos as we go. But thank you, as always, so much for watching. Make sure to like the video by hitting the thumbs up button down below. And leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of this episode, how I played, what my choices were. I'm really curious if, you know, if you're listening to this point, leave me a comment and let me know what you think of Lieutenant Bedrosian's decision. Do you agree with her that bringing the, uh, the... I don't even know what to call them, but like the spirits of the Takan, those sticks onto the ship was dangerous or um, or that I'm right. And, you know, it's worth saving them. They are sentient life. And um, we really, you know, that was what we needed to do when she's out of line. And so, yeah, just let me know about that down in the comments below. Uh, make sure you're subscribed to see all of my videos and ring the bell. Get your notifications set up so you're notified of whenever I post brand new episodes of Star Trek Resurgence. And if you'd like to give some support to the channel, you can check me out on Patreon, Coffee. You can check out my Teespring, which 
yes, still only has Orange Ranger videos merch on it. I, I eventually want to get Orange Ranger Plays merch on there, but I just haven't had the time to work on that yet. Uh, cash tag Orange Ranger videos. Uh, and snacksforgamers.com slash orangerangerplays to get some yummy, delicious snacks that give some support to the channel as well. Until next time, gamers, may the power protect you. section.